Okay, my objective is to show you about the Braun Silk Epple 9. It's not in its package right now, as you can see, because I have it over here. Now, you'll see a few different parts that I have, and some of them I will not use, or I do not use. And this is one of them. It's a waste of time to take it in and out of the package and all of that, so I don't bother. Waste of time. This is the stand that you can set it on when it's charging. You just push it, the plug up through here and charge it. It stands on there. See, this right there stands on there and then it plugs up through there and charges. And this is the charge cord. Oops, this is the charge cord right here. But let's get real. I'm a time saver. So anything that I can do to save time, I do. I, I'm a single mom. I don't have time for a lot of, um, I don't have time, period. I just don't have time. So anything that's a time saver, I'm there for. And that's the whole purpose of getting this um, Epilady is because it saves time. Initially, it takes about, um, I would say, probably about an hour to do both legs. Um, but you only have to do it like once every week or two. So it really does save a lot of time. You don't have to worry about um, embarrassing stuff. Anyway, you can read the post, so it'll be on there. But you'll get what I'm saying. I'm a time saver. You'll see that it works. Okay, so um, this is the, the device that you use. And then this right here, it makes it so that only a small portion at a time can be used with the Epilady at once. I prefer to use this only when I'm doing like... Um, my chin or something along those lines but really I found that if you don't if you're not worried about getting additional hair in it like maybe you have long hair if you have long hair do not you do your chin with this I do I and it looks nasty look how mean and nasty it looks here I'll show you Ooh, it's like a lawnmower for your legs right and then that little light right there um, it shines on the hair so that you can see it and know that you're getting it all Okay, and it has different speeds. You can turn it way up too. And it works faster that way. And, and that's the way I like it. Fast. And then this is um, for like exfoliating. You can use this on your chin. You could use it on your legs too. And um, it just feels good. It kind of massages your body or your skin afterwards. It feels really good and it brings the sensation back so it feels really nice the same with your face too it um, stimulates your face so it feels good on your skin different speeds okay and then this is for those who are not quite brave enough to use the full epilady and yank those buggers out this one um, actually is a shaver and you just pop the top off right here and then you just shave and it um, shaves your legs really small. But again, you're not gonna have the, the long time of shaving with this, as you'll have hair removal with this. I'm not gonna lie, it hurts. I would suggest doing it when you're home alone so no one can hear your pathetic and measly screams. Okay, so, um, here's the brush that you'll use. Um, this comb, you comb, here, hold this for me, Nick. Hold it on here. You use this to comb out the hair afterwards so that it gets out of there. And then this, unlike this one that allows you to just do little tiny portions at a time, this one has a pivoting head on it. You can see how it pivots. And that's so that it can like, go around your um your your body parts so um i'll show you so you take this off and you line up the little arrows like that see how the arrows you don't want to do it that way because there's no arrows lining up see that's wrong so do it so the arrows are lined up and you just pop it on and then this will pivot like if you're doing your legs or something right mm -hmm. okay so let me show you it does hurt but kids don't try this at home Moms, you have to. So go ahead and put it on my leg so I can see. And and there's not much because I just did um, um, 
oh, what did I do on three days ago? And if you look really close, I don't know how close you can look, but there's not a lot of hair. And that's the secret to doing it like a few times a week. Because if you do it a few times a week, you're not going to have a lot of hair ever. And your, and your um, skin, just like a, an animal or anyone really, it gets used to certain, um, like a dog on a leash, you know, it kind of gets used to the leash being on it. It's kind of the same with your legs. And, um, and this, because it does hurt at first. But keep going. Do not give yourself um, the ability to quit, okay? So you're gonna start here and you can see how the light shines on it. I don't know if you can see any hair or not. Maybe a little bit. And just keep going and it hurts at first. And it'll hurt for about a quarter of the way around. And like I said in the directions, once you start going, do not pick it up. Keep it on your leg. Keep it on there because it vibrates and it kind of numbs your leg. And you just want to go all the way around in one fluid, fluid, fluid motion. And just keep going around and around and around. I'm not going to take it off my leg until I am totally done with this leg. Okay? And it feels like um, if someone were to take their fingernails, you know how you used to when you were in elementary school or your friends would do it to you? And they would take their fingernails and just pinch your skin and it kind of tweaks a little bit and hurts. That's what it feels like. And this, um, actually, since I just did it, this is only my second time using this particular epilady. Um, but since I did it the other day, it does feel uncomfortable. I will say that it doesn't, it doesn't hurt by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and I just did one leg. And you can see how fast, well, half a leg. I don't know, I do my upper leg. But see how fast that was after the initial, oh wait, I got a hair. Come and shine it right here, Nick, around here. Oh, over the, over the top, where the light is. If you look right here, you can see a hair that got missed. See, it's gone. And I also had one on this other leg, because I remember seeing it yesterday at work. Shine it over here. No, right here. See? Mm -hmm. See that hair? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how long my hair was a few days ago. So it's gone. In fact, this does not hurt at all. And um, once you do it the first time, if you keep doing it, like I said, and just do it like every other day, then it will just yank those little puppies out while they're really little. And, um, and it won't hurt at all. The first time, it's going to kill you. It's going to hurt really bad the first time, no lie. That's why I said if you, if you drink a little bit the night before and before your body's fully awake the next day, go to it and you'll have it whipped. And that's it. So, I'd say I'm going to the beach now and showing off my bikini body, but... We all know that's not true. Anyway, this is definitely a lot longer lasting than razors. And it doesn't do the singy, smelly, hair growing back thing that um, that the, the other hair singers, the laser things do. If you do it professionally, I'm sure it would still stink. But it would probably be a higher voltage. So it's not going to grow back as fast. But it still is going to grow back. So if you think that your hair is going to never grow back, think again. <laughs>